Hi, I'm Dr. Julie Pham, here to help you practice curiosity to elevate your work and life. Today, we're gonna to talk about how to respond when someone asks you, what do you do for a living? Now, when someone asks you, what do you do for a living? What do you do for work? That's just an easy way for them to understand what you do and who you are as a person to start that conversation. Different situations require different answers. So I'm gonna walk you through the five different situations that you might be in and the different ways to answer that question. Number one, if you think that the person you're talking to will probably understand your occupation, then you can just say it. Say, I'm a writer, I'm a journalist, I'm a doctor, I am a retail salesperson. Whatever that is, just say it. Number two is, if you're really excited and proud of your work, then you can talk about the impact that you have on others. So for example, you could say, I help people feel less stressed about their taxes and finance. Now that's if you are an accountant. Or let's say you work at a clothing store. I help people find clothing that makes them feel special every day. Situation number three is, if you don't actually like what you're doing, then you may say, well, there's what I do for a living, and then there's what I actually do that makes life worth living, and this is what I'm actually really passionate about. Number four, let's say that you are in between jobs and you're looking for the next job. You can say, well, this is what I used to do for work, and what I'd really like to do is this. And number five is you don't work and you don't have to work and you don't have any plans on working. And so you can just say, well, this is how I spend my days. I hope you found these tips to answering that question, what do you do for a living, helpful. If you did, please do click like and share this video with others. You can also find a more detailed version of this on our blog at curiositybased.com.